Well, everybody, I come to you guys uh, to uh, talk to you about uh, the high cost of food and the high interest rates. I don't know what we're going to do. I tell you, it's, it's getting harder and harder to even pay bills. It's uh, getting harder and harder to even try to purchase anything to eat. Uh, here lately, I've been going to the store, you know, uh, cause I normally like a lot of time, I like to shop uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I used to uh, shop, uh, I take a week and then I go and I get enough that lasts for a whole month or so. Uh, but I stopped doing that because as I start getting older and everything, my appetite start uh, shifting for different types of uh, foods and stuff. But uh, so now what I normally do, I go on a day to day basis. Or sometimes I find something that I already have here and fix it. But uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody out there, uh, all of my followers. Uh, I consider you as my friend now. Um, thank you for watching uh, my channel. Thank you for uh, subscribing. And for those that hadn't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. Uh, but here lately, I noticed the only thing that uh, that we can only purchase to a certain extent, and that is chicken. And it's still... Uh, high as I don't know what. I went to the store yesterday and uh, they had uh, whole chickens. Uh, what it was we went to uh, Sprouts. And when I tell you they had small whole chickens, they were $20 a piece. 20 bucks. Uh, and chicken wings, they twenty dollars a pack. Uh, it's it's just outrageous with the meat prices inside of these stores. But uh, what I found out is that you know if you have a, a local uh, butcher uh, in your area, it's best to go ahead on and. Uh, purchase either a half of a, a cow or a whole cow. And if you can't do it all by yourself, then you know, you can uh, get some of your friends and stuff like that in order to uh, chip in, in order to uh, help get the meat. And then you bust it down, bust it down, split it up, whatever one you want to call it. But, uh, I even, uh, I like to eat a lot of uh, fruit and a lot of vegetables. And when I tell you that the prices are insane on some of this stuff, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm sitting here now. I got the, I was looking through the, uh, the newspaper. Well, folks, uh, my solutions other than uh, uh, getting a, a whole cow cut up, that's only if you eat beef, though. Uh, a lot of people don't eat beef, but anyway, uh, let's get to the next solution. Uh, you can start growing your your own stuff in your garden, your own vegetables. You you know, just about pretty much anything that you want. You really don't have to have a whole lot of space, even if you live uh, in an apartment. Uh, you can grow things out on your balcony and inside of pots, like your tomatoes and uh, different stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, um, you know, I bought my chickens a while back and, uh, I get, a uh, quite a few eggs from my chickens. Uh, see how pretty my eggs is? My chickens, they lay per, uh, real good every day. Uh, and I don't know, you might have to look into that. It might be something that's feasible for you. Uh, but the feed and stuff like that for them is, 
is actually expensive. Uh, now that the eggs gone down a little bit in the store, you might be better off trying to just purchase them at a store. So, or you might be able to find them uh, from someone that uh, have chickens and, and they don't charge that much. So those are some of the ways that, you know, you can get by some of these high costs. Uh, also, uh, I know my channel is not about uh, finances, but if you can uh, look at a lot of these apps, uh, like uh, DoorDash, uh, Merchandiser, uh, uh, they have courier apps. They have quite a few uh, side hustling apps, you know, that you can uh, probably uh, do uh, on your day off or when you get off your main job or whatever the case may be. Work a couple hours in order to bring in your, you know, couple hundred dollars a week or something in order to uh, combat against the cost of living uh, and these high as interest rates. Uh, but just hang in there. We all going to hang in there. We're going to, we just going to have to do what we got to do because the government ain't going to save us. We got to save ourselves. And that's the only way I could see it. Because I don't see them trying no way, no how in order to do anything that uh, really represent uh, the American people because they sending all our money to different uh, other countries, especially uh, on that war and all that type of stuff, something that we don't even have nothing to do with. But hey, the mild politics. That's the reason why I don't even run a, uh, a campaign on it. Rather just do my food channel, do something that I know, and I, I stick with what I know. So we can talk about them people until uh, the time get better, and ain't neither one of them uh, gonna do no good uh, for the American people because they all worried about lining their own pockets. So. Uh, like I say, just have to do what we can do when we can do it. And I want to thank you guys uh, for watching. And you have a blessed night.